this uh, welcome to Pabada YouTube. If you enjoy the videos so far that I've made and the content I made, please like and subscribe and share. Please like, subscribe, and share. So, as soon as I start recording, whatever. And anyways, uh, this class is mainly about Ahavat Yisrael. Ahavat Yisrael can make you the best Jew ever. It can make you the biggest rob, the, the best rabbi. Now, unfortunately, within within society, there have been many times where the people would think that their knowledge makes them the greatest rabbi, the greatest ever. What does Pirkei Ava say? If your wisdom succeeds your fear of heaven or your wisdom exceeds your good deeds, then your wisdom will not endure. So, but if one is having love for another Jew and one is having proper behavior towards another Jew, he's having Derek Eretz, and, and he behaves in a very good manner the way that a Jew should be, only then can he actually learn Torah and his wisdom endure to where the Torah and Hasidus can be spread. As we all can recall, there was a time hundreds of years ago, I think, if I'm not mistaken, what was it, the 1600s? I think it was the 1600s. There was, there was Tomei de Chachamim, Torah sages that were very wise and very learned, but they would go to these simple Jews and treat them like garbage. And, and it was very disgusting. Nevertheless, even before the Baal Shem Tov, there was Nisturin and there was the Baal Shem I think his name's Adam Baal Shem. There were all these simple, there were these hidden tzaddikim that would go to simple Jews and raise their spirits up. Then, then the Baal Shem to introduce Hasidus to, to where when he would teach Hasidus, just the very beginning, even before Chabad Hasidus, it would lift up the simple Jews to where eventually they wouldn't even be so simple because they would just learn this deep esoteric levels of Torah. But all of this was revealed to the Jewish people through love. When you have love to another people, when you have love to the world and you and you love your neighbor as yourself, that's when Hashem opens up the gates of heaven before you and you could truly know Hashem. Unless you know Hashem, you cannot really uh get to know him. Hashem will open himself to you when you are reaching the level of a Hobbes Yisrael. Anyways, this is a nice intro for the class. I'm going to stop this.